Right then. Okay, where's my golf course gone? There it is over here. Um, hello there. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, well, not joining me. I'm not going out live or anything like that. But um, yeah, thanks for clicking play. I suppose. Um, I I was I actually came in to do a few screenshots of my par three contest design course thing, and. Um, you know, a few screenshot posts them up, bit of work in progress, as you should do, you know, if, uh, make a bit of an effort, get involved, people have, people have set this up, you know, you're gonna show a bit of winning and stuff, so, um, yeah, so I thought, rather than do I do a little video, um, I, I'm a bit of a novice with this kind of thing, I've never, I've never, um, done a video before, I've, um, I, I see people on, you know, Twitch and doing live streams and stuff like that, and uh, I thought, well, I don't want to do that. You know, what are you doing that? And, uh, I'm getting all jealous, and and um, little did I know how actually how easy it is. How easy it is. I um, I have to thank Scruffy37 for um, you may know him. He, he's top of every leaderboard of every golf course that's out there, pretty much. Um, but he he informed me that actually the little microphone, the little earphone that comes with the my ps4 actually has a little microphone on it right there i only got to speak and uh i'm free to chat as much bs as as anyone who cares to listen every course i do usually a couple of weeks before i finish you know the course i'm doing i i'm sort of thinking oh, oh, what am i gonna do for the next one you know thinking of a good idea i'll try and try to think of a good idea and um so before I set the train, I generally got an idea whether whether it's just using the, the basic slider bar, uh, you know, from flat to, to undulating sort of thing, or um, I've done a canyons course. I had to, you know, use the jaggedy the jaggedy raise tool and, and raise all these little, you know, sort of canyons up and stuff. And obviously with this, I've done the cliffs. Gone for the surprise, surprise. I've gone for the links theme again. Um, but uh, it was the best sort of thing for what what has eventually popped in my 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 head for the idea. Um, so yeah, I so what I tend to do, I set that out, and then that's my blank canvas. That's what I've got to work with. I I will, you know, don't get me wrong. If I if I if I need to build a mountain in the background or something, I'll do it. But generally, as far as the whole goes, I like to follow. I like to follow the the topography, the undulations that are there, and I don't I don't create holes. I root them. I see them and I root them. And um, you know, a lot of the best golf courses, the links courses you see, especially, uh, they're not brilliantly created they're just brilliantly mapped out and rooted so i tend to have this little thing where i have to have a sort of little side theme you know um the building the course like the main course and i gotta have this little side salad of of some some uh, some cheesy rubbish on the side so uh, last time i did a driving range in the background a nice one it actually looked pretty cool actually uh, i did a us open design not so great uh i did a little story uh, about how the course into being and stuff like that it was it was all right a bit cheesy um, don't think anyone ever read it or, or you know so but I, I tend to I don't know why I just like to add that you know you're creating something people are gonna play it you know it, it, for a purpose I suppose and um, so I thought with this course what I would do is here's the sort of you know the sort of pitch and putt but the, the par three going around the club base shirt and then maybe when you're playing it you see out here you see the main course you know a main links course um, obviously I wouldn't create holes I just create services so it, it give that impression that there was a course out there sort of thing and uh, maybe have somewhere along you know near one of the holes you could see the first tee for the main course you know um you know add all the trimmings you know a starters hurt that kind of thing um so i was toying with that idea but i'm gonna give it a miss because uh a i wanna i wanna get this finished now and and i'll get on the uh, the um delta theme is calling me it looks fantastic so i kind of i mentioned again the delta theme and also i can't really see from these holes you don't obviously when you zoom in you'd see it i think you'd see it um i do have a little theme you can see bottom right there oh that's all you've seen of it, 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 it it's terrible um so i want you to see it um so yeah but so i was thinking of doing that and while while i was out here i just wanted to give a little insight what i meant when i sort of i see a lot of people you know they they kind of designing up here they see their routine sort of don't know what that is there some kind of fault line or something i think but uh they you know they they seem to map their course out from quite high up you know that's it that's fine they come up with wonderful creations the way they do it and um but straight away i've sort of sort of come here i thought maybe you know you could have a sort of teeing area maybe your back tee there and a sort of front tee or something and straight away 
I've got down to, to me you've got to get down to this level to see to see a golf hole something something new something fresh because it's it's not just one golf hole. I I spotted that you can see where I'm looking can you that sort of you know where it sort of mounts up at the back you know that sort of frames the hole and that the fairway is there it's just not coloured in basically it's um, that's the fairway going along here maybe you know you might you might put a little depression in here or something and add some scrub no bunkers frowned upon bunkers hate them a um, little depression here and fill, fill it with some scrub so you know maybe it comes up here a little bit then the more you chew off I might possibly put a little bunker in over here to make them think twice about going too much but you know your little your little bail out here give you a give you a you know a longer shot but an easier tee shot but a longer a longer shot to the green sort of thing at a, at a maybe at a worse angle or or what but you know just just from coming along here and just and just doing that straight away I've just seen you know I mean you know down there as well I mean look at that you know par five or something you know wraps back round to the right and you know um, just fantastic it's, it's just there for you you know um, that is actually a road leaving leading somewhere to the clubhouse um, that altered all my paths which were nicely paved to tarmac which was a bit annoying um, but you know you maybe a par three over over on the over to the to the cliff edge there or something like that anyway but uh, yeah so that's what I do, and I think you're really missing out if you don't get down here and, and, and view yours, you know. So you, you use your landing zone, you know. You might, I, I see the edge of the fairway there. I see that fairway ending and maybe playing over to a green over here, over the scrub sort of thing. Um, and then obviously, you, I mean, where do you go next? Obviously, you've got, you do have to keep one eye on your routine. Very important. You don't want to go 4,000 yards up here and you've got four holes to fit to come all the way back right here, you know. Um, I suppose it's not real life you could kind of um you no one maybe i'd notice but some people might not notice that but it, obviously i i like to keep that that's why i set my train and that's it because i like to keep that kind of it's a challenge end you know um a good someone posted on tgc forum tgc tours forum uh, I think it was Bubba Spieth. Um, he he sort of mapped out the course uh, in writing, you know, in pen. Drew, drew, I don't know if it was the scale or whatever, but certainly uh, if you can do that, if you've got the time, that's the way to do it. That's that's. Um you know, I've I've actually done that with a scale ruler, and it, it's it's certainly a lot more challenging than than uh, especially when you've got a, a small area of land. But I had visions in my college tutor. You know, I'm gonna create the new Augusta. You wait. You know, uh, Crenshaw's gonna be calling me and all this rubbish. And uh, I had a pretty boring course uh, that measured just over five thousand yards with about six par threes. And yeah, so anyway like i said get get down you know get down get down and you know these holes are just a few you know i've just kind of vision that one there look at that a little par three i think it's little um goes up and down so that's that's again deception that's very very important you know a, a very good tool for design you know it, you think it's uphill but it's actually level you know so you hit along the club oh i got flying over the back um you know uh i i'm seeing there i'm seeing a green there obviously i mean look you say i haven't done nothing. i might there's your bunker i might put a bunker in there the depressions there i know you can do your depressions yourself and things and uh usually i do if i need a bunker but if it's there, I, I like to use it because again, it looks natural. You you can beat natural. You can you can cre recreate it any better yourself. Trust me. Um, uh, in whatever in whatever capacity, you know, planting and all that, everything you know seems to always look better where it is and where it's been put by Mother Nature. So, but yeah, I'm seeing a par three over the top there. I'm gonna just stick a bunker in there and see see how it works. Um, this is my favourite bunker here. I kind of stick with a, tr you know, uh, a traditional sort of pot bunker and maybe make it, you know, it's, I suppose it's not really a pump pot bunker when it's that big, but it's still, you know, it's, it's feathered, the edge is feathered, there's no there's no noses coming out, you know, them, uh, don't get me wrong, they've got a place in, in golf, you know, the, I think in Doral sort of, them kind of wild, big, vast bunk. No, so I'm going to just put a bunker in there, see how it looks. There we are, look. Pretty good, I think that looks there, uh, you know. See the green sap on you. I like the fact that if you put your green in there, it would it, you would possibly if you if you just went up a little tickle there at the back, you you would see that flash of green, you know. If you were down here and you couldn't see, you know, maybe down here you can't see anything of the green, you know, you just oh the pin's up there, I'm just gonna knock one up there, you know. Um it's take something away if you come back and you oh the green what's that doing is that sloping down there to the right you know it's um it's the essence of 
course design for me that's to put as many thoughts in the golfer's head as possible you know get him thinking you know uh, that's why I like deception I think that you know you don't know you're two pretty good golf holes there just I didn't do anything the only thing I can do to them two golf holes is make them look worse if you ask me you know I've just got to um I just got to it's all there I just got to add the makeup you know you know I don't know if you take anything from any of what I'm saying but if you do then we have a little uh I don't want to I'm not coming on here to promote anything but um we have a little Facebook group we do called um the golf club uh, hyphen ps4 users and um feel free to join if you only if you're not clicky i like to steal all your ideas and you know you can have all, any any rubbish i got to say you know I, that's how i think it works i think that's a good philosophy for life you know share everything you know and everyone will get better and and uh, if you get better you're generally more civilized uh so yeah come on you know um a lot of the guys play the golf game i i i usually on this i'm probably explains why i'm so bad as you'll see in a minute but um you know they join up they got microphones they chat if you if you like that kind of thing it's good that, that headland in the background is is a bit of a nod to three cliffs bay um if anyone's ever been there it's just beautiful and if you see my golf course it's just it's just a masterpiece of uh of golf course design everyone kind of agreed with that i thought and um uh, a wonderful 6.4 rating on tgc says shows how much of a bs i am you know but um yeah, um, this is actually North Wales. This is based on the North Wales coast. The the name, I may as well tell you the name. It it, it might you might have seen it said back B A C H. That's back. That's Welsh for small, and I use as indicate. I don't speak Welsh. My wife does fluid Welsh, and my three year old daughter actually speaks more Welsh than me. So uh, that should be fun when they're older. Uh, having a good gossip. What are they said about me now? Oh no. Um, so yeah. So um, so I. What was the name? She's given me a name. I, I I was running, you know, I was bouncing things off. I put back. I knew I knew a little bit of Welsh, and I knew back meant small, short. So I put par three. I want to kind of put that name back back. It's not German. It's Welsh. Um, uh, so I told you that, and then, and then she, you know, um, she she saw. I think she came up with with something that meant um, along the seashore or something. I was like, no, I don't say right, you know. Uh, and then we came up with uh, uh, the name. Um, Il, Ili, Imo, or something like that. Imali, Imali, Imali. Oh, fuck Christ, I do apologise. Um, Im, Ilmi, Imo, Ilmi, Imo. I said Ilmi, Imo. It means edge of the land or edge of the sea. Uh, if that, I, I quite like that. I, I didn't at first, but it's growing on me the more I pack it up. So I'm gonna. Some of these bunkers are really gonna be sat in the scrub. I think something I should have done with my US Open design rather than pussyfoot around with a few little of these in there. I'm gonna really get in there and make it look real linksy, hopefully. Um, one of the one of the main things with this golf course, as they're all par threes, is I've gone sort of 60. I'd say maybe 50, 60 percent aesthetics and maybe uh, sort of 40 percent green. That's to me the design of this hole. The strategy is in the green, how the green sits. Uh, I built the green around the pin position. I want every hole to have a really exciting, uh, fun pin position. Um, maybe a bit challenging. Maybe you, for typical links. You've been like you've seen it at Chambers Bay. That's that's links. You you hit a, a spot 40 foot away and it lands. You hit a foot from the hole, and you, you're 40 foot away. That kind of thing. You know, um, it's not going to be that extreme. Uh, it's quite a short course actually. Um, but um, I had wind in mind as well. A lot of these little things will work as well when you've got 20 mile an hour gusts behind you. This green was originally, um, it was quite visibly two tiers there. It was this top tier. I can't remember if that was higher or the other one was lower, but it was visibly two separate tiers. Uh, that pin looked a lot better originally. It was really sort of sunk down, you know, and you had a big, big slope to it. Um, that middle bit, I, I, it's, it's not, really, it's just a slope now, but it was originally an actual break in the green. It's what we, what, what we call, what they call the Mackenzie. Um, if you look up the term, it means extreme undulating green, I think. But they use it, uh, it's used to sort of separate. Um, you can't put a pin there; it's just to separate greens, or we'll split them into two or three sections. Uh, Trent Jones Senior, I think he did it a lot. Um, but it, 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 it's, it's a good tool, but it, it kind of, it's not so good for a green keeper. You've got to kind of, you haven't got so many options to put the pin, you know. I prefer maybe a flat agree with with a bit more subtlety um, than, than big sloping hills. But uh, they do, they do work if done properly. Um, but it, it, it did look really good, yeah. So 
but I've, I've, I've morphed that idea into something else which I'll show you now I'm thinking that back edge there I'm gonna wrap that bunker around where that rock is a bit further around again without that, that white flower can go I think um, sort of around there and it will it's another you see when it dips at uh, the back there that's actually that's meant to be like that it's still stop people going too long and um, or, or wanting to go right the pin if they go too long it's going to catch it and hopefully not in the bunk but just you know into the rough into the semi or whatever and but i might put the bunker there for an extra bit of fear factor but this this front where the pin comes up here that's actually you might think you might land it there and it'll roll on it may with the wind of you know uh it may not work so well but there's actually quite a slope there and it will you know if you stop it sort of just over that right there it will stop pretty quick and you'll have a 12 10 12 foot put this quite difficult so this this bank here i sort of the idea in mind that that should if you know if you can see the shot and you maybe you play the course a couple of times you will uh use that slope to your advantage rather than go straight for the pin so you you actually got a little, a little bit of bail out you're not going straight to the bunker pin it's sensible play but you're also getting rewarded uh for thinking about it sort of thing but that should give it a little it is a little nudge and just push it up to the hole there look and uh yeah that's worked quite well i'm quite happy with that i don't want it you know possibly i could put it in that spot where this land and uh it's obviously gonna be a common spot and maybe hold in one chance why not it's uh it's a one-off sort of thing and uh yeah so it might be exciting you know um the reason i i'm i think pin positions is because um well it's obvious, pretty obvious you know like i said to make it exciting and stuff and i will get to the rest of the green i'll kind of work back and so make sure it all sort of flows to that area and look you know looks good you wouldn't normally do it obviously because the pin could go anywhere but um you you think some of like uh, uh i suppose augusta augusta 16th you know you've got that pin in the middle front there you know it's pretty i don't want it's a wonderful golf hole but it's kind of you know a pretty boring pin as far as pin goes straight in the middle there oh i think it's a saturday then you've got um that one up on the right there on the ridge doesn't really look like it's supposed to go there it just it just it seems a bit awkward it's not you know um you put it back left though on that sunday and you've got one of the most exciting golf holes you can imagine to finish a major with you know fantastic this hole i would say was the uh sort of genesis for want of a better word of the golf course itself i i i, I just visioned a hole in the cliff stuck in the cliff playing over the over another you know over some land and i haven't quite got that element to it but playing into the cliff um I couldn't really do it as, as extreme as I wanted it, mainly because uh, of that down there. I had to get back down there, and um, it's getting a little bit better. That was like one of them sheer drops, looked pretty bad. Um, that bunker there, that has no uh, strategic merit whatsoever. Uh, it's there solely, it's called a, a retaining bunker. Uh, you may get a lot of these on sort of uh, courses that have been packed in, you know, not a lot of land, local, little local members' course or something, you know, linear holes side by side, and. Um, you know you you may see like a, a bunker 100 yards from the green totally out of play and what's that doing there but it's actually stopping balls rolling 200 yards down the, to the next hole you might laugh a bit of this bit bit uh a bit lame i suppose but uh the the thought i've got for 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 the lighting on it i don't know if you've seen karate kid 3 um a little bit abstract i know but um he, the, the the scene where the uh, the bonsai tree is in the cliff and and that scene when it, it sort of cuts and and the lights shining on the bonsai tree um i kind of envisioned that with the pin if i could um a few things with this hole that that front bit there that's a complete steal that is I've, i i was searching google images for some reason and um i thought about uh originally doing doing small the small stones trying to act as pebbles and doing a pebble beach but it would have took far too long it have, and it didn't look right anyway the pebble they're not pebbles they're little stones and it, it, you know you can see that and i i was searching google images and for some reason i'm not quite sure why but they, a, a hole like this come up it wasn't near the sea it was sort of the the, the green had been built up using sort of rocks you know i've seen her on tees and i think a lot of this for artistic merit but it's a lot it seems a lot of work it's, it's almost like a dry stone wall in in a tea bank you know it's a it's a lot of you know making sure all the all the all the bits fit all the rocks fit you know a lot of effort for a tea so i think it's i would have thought it's, it's an artistic thing but it probably it's probably needed in the first place and they chose that method you know to solidify a bank or something you know so um 
you know, sitting here, I just like the look of it. Uh, I'm not sure I got it right. The rocks may be a bit too big, but um, I'm going to have to make that out of bounds. I haven't hit a ball in yet, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm assuming it's just going to get stuck and you're going to be hitting like ping pong or uh, in amongst the rocks. So I'm going to OB that bit and not uh, put the signs up. Just It'll just go back to the T. So the front right bunker, that's a retaining bunker as well. It was kind of, I did hit one over there and it kind of bounced off down here in the rocks. Back bunker there. That's a strategic bunker. That's to anyone thinking I'm going to bail out back. I don't like that water. I'm going to check it out the back while well, they're going to go in there and, you know, that's sort of protecting it. And then they got a hit. Uh, looks like a pretty horrible shot. Uh, I'm going to lower that. I was thinking, hear me out now, of trying to build some rock pools, certainly in this little corner here. Um, maybe somehow raising it, you know, the, the jaggedy look and then raising it uh, maybe a foot above the surface and then lowering the jaggedy rock, uh, sorry, squeezing the jaggedy rock and then dipping it so you got like a like a little rock pool effect and see if that would work. But um, that, that, them, them little, uh, they're called stacks and they're the sticking out there. They, uh, the surfers call them boneyards, I think. They Generally the best waves will break and you know, all rocks and stuff and they, they get caught up, you're in a bit of trouble. So I'm doing it, that's not finished obviously obviously but I'm gonna do something sort of there you know uh, is three cliffs bay over there no I I'm, I'm actually um, I get to play the London Club in a month's time and book my tea time and um, I will be playing the London Club um, and it's not that good of course looking I gotta be honest very modern uh, lots of cladded lakes and 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 big bunkers are heavy uh, so I'm uh, but every cloud i might have a good chance of playing wentworth um not a great chance and uh if not wentworth there may be a small chance of playing sunningdale and if not definitely the berkshire uh, red course which is top 50 in britain i believe i sort of brought that up can we get heath lamp please um it's so i love links but Heath Land, it's got that sort of extra, it's got, you know, from a real life point of view, it's got the perfect sort of sand you get for Lynx Course, it's very sandy, you know, uh, but it also, it also has a, that little bit of inland sort of nutrients, a bit of clay that just holds that bit of nutrient and um, adds a little bit of colour sort of thing, so you get this unbelievable environment for a golf course, they're very rare, I, I doubt there's many beyond that sort of sand belt and a few inland from uh, from Lynx Courses, but very rare and uh, it's, it's the most wonderful location you could imagine for building a golf course so hopefully one day please 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 um this hole i wanted a hole on the beach basically i gotta get rid of that boat um yeah i wanted the bunker to be a beach so a little bit of work there um got a few sheep i just wanted to show you something i, I quite like actually uh is my sand dunes again i had the beach theme i don't know why i can't get my camera to zoom up there it's a bit annoying there it goes um but my wife has asked me why I've got pine trees on the on the coast sort of thing. I don't know. I guess she knows more. She's an ecologist. She knows a bit more than me and stuff like this. But um, I the reason I put sort of bushes and stuff there may not look particularly natural. I think it looks quite good there. It's from a distance. You don't see the grass, do you? So um, with a few trees and bushes, it, it kind of it looks very bare if you don't if you don't put something there. Do you? From I had to go back up the cliffs. Uh, at some point and this is kind of the main hole that kind of cuts everything out so yeah i got there's my tears there i've jazzed them up a little bit um i quite like that actually uh so yeah swap it in here back right i think this pin a lot of my pins are at the back that's the only problem um and I'm also a bit worried about the wind. Some of these, I'm gonna have to really think about, you know, if you've got a 20 mile out tailwind, what's gonna go on if it when it lands sort of thing. I got it, I'm gonna do that at the end and, and really work on the greeds toward the end. Right, this, I love this hole. Um, you may be looking at them going, what in God's name has he done? He's last the plot. He's last the plot with this one. Well, I maybe I have, but, um, I say I've been saying oh, I've done I've done this Celtic theme. This is my theme, and not the not the holes in the background. I've gone for like a little Celtic, being North Wales, you know. But actually, the, these things are called long barrows. Um, I think they're long barrows. Um, they they're sacred burial chambers, anyway. Um, you would call them. And I see a little stone circle there, just over by there. See him? Pretty bad. Um, but yeah, they they're basically monoliths where where they bury the dead. And I. I I've been calling them Celtic, but I think they're actually ancient Britain. It's sort of Stonehenge era. Um, 
so I I've I quite I like the second one the first one I might need to do a bit of work on and uh, but I, I just added these on a whim I just thought you know I, I was I said oh, what can I you know oh, what can I do yeah I gotta do it a little bit different and, uh, and it just popped up and and all I've done with this is uh, the thin edge uh, you know the sharp edged thin um, the round one I've made that as small as it can go and then I've put uh, the the top rock there is 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 a small rock um is is the one that's quite flat quite big and then i just put that on top and then just ra uh yeah ra just raise that up and it, it did what i thought that's you know is it gonna work and it, it did got trying to get this deception thing going again uh this if you see that that doesn't really look like there's a gap there does it if if you come down to eye level you just see the bank coming coming left but over that bank there's just quite a big drop uh, quite a big ditch and the, the sort of right the left hand side makes it look level i wanted an oakmont style green that's what i've stolen that from this uh, it's like a, they call it a uh, it's a cereal bowl upside down isn't it it all sort of you know it all fades away the, the, the uh, around the green and uh also the pin again here i've got i think i've got this pin sort of right pretty simple i gotta hit if you hit that mound there it'll just sort in the right spot it'll just trickle down the hole it's all going right there so i'm gonna just maybe flatten that a little bit there you see it's all pushing right you'll see see now when i hit the shot um it should i might go a little bit left might not be too bad but generally it should um shoot off to the right a little bit yeah it just creeps over yeah hole seven um the next two holes I've pretty much um, just put the green in the tea green I've seen the tea looked up and seen that and, and put the green there I haven't done an awful lot with it yet the headland over there I've obviously I've created that and um, the lighthouse there's a whale out there somewhere I haven't seen him yet maybe he's too far away but um, I had put him by that third hole where that rocks are just out there so you would see it I I, uh, I, I moved him um, so let's give it a go the green itself um a bit different as you can see i i haven't seen many greens like that i'm so i'm trying to do something a bit different the gaps uh not the gaps the sort of uh in you know the dents in the cliff there i've tried to feed the green into there followed that it's, it's got that forked and looking uh they will be chipping at my course um it'll have to be i'm going to put that pin in the back right and i may do you know i i, I don't know where to leave that green out there i'm not sure it looks really good or i certainly put a bit of um with that with that odd gorses there do put something there but uh yeah chipping is allowed just don't tell the greenkeepers or they'll uh they'll be mad for taking uh divots out of their green so um just something like i said i'm just trying to look for some different things all the time you know uh that's where i get my enjoyment from the game and for that bunker as a sort of reminder uh like i said with the routine i kind of slap things in places i'm just to remind myself there's something there but um uh i might sort of wear that wear that um it's not cliff is it but that that front edge is, is sort of dropped there i might drop that all the way around and have like a little ravine going up the side there uh possibly something like that and obviously i've got to work this right hand side with it with it with it i might lower that actually lower the club base so you see it more and i might fill a gap um yeah the creme de la creme <laughs> if uh if you could call it that is there it is look you've been waiting for that haven't you stonehenge stonehenge in north wales there we go um hence the rocks because how the hell would you get rocks up to you know that's i i actually thought i thought someone's gonna say are oh, you gonna get rocks up there that's stupid uh not like it's stupid anyway uh but that's what i thought like the Preselli hills where they got the old stonehenge rocks for it's just there and they, they just rolled them over of course you know 100 tons of rock or whatever it is uh they've just kind of rolled them over and, and put them like that oh it's just supposed to be a clock stonehenge or something isn't it it's not even 12 digits on there is it? The, the pack there was again very simple it was just going to stop it worked really well at first I, you hit a five wood in there and it kind of just stopped just before the rough and come back down and he, it would nearly go in or, or go in i never got it to go in but it, it would have and uh for some reason i must have altered something with the distance because it, it keeps going long now so uh i'll try and hit it uh if i don't i'm just going to quit and uh, that's my video thanks for thanks for joining in i'm going to try and hit this about i think 95 percent 96 percent that might just do it uh, i'm going to try that uh no it's 89. uh <laughs> okay so all right thanks very much for for 
oh, I doubt you're still here for for, um, for persevering, and uh, I see you about. Join that Facebook group. We'll have a we'll have a little chat about course design and playing and all that if you like. So, okay then. Bye now. Bye.